Welcome back, everyone, to yet another To Catch a Predator with Chris Hansen. Today, they're taking on a man called Anthony Palumbo, and I thought they made the name up, but it's actually his name. Palumbo, that sounds familiar. Well, it sounds kind of like that, that old show, Columbo, that was like a detective ah. from way back in the day. Yeah, yeah. but uh, God, what was I going to say? Ah, whatever. <laughs> subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you are subscribed, thank you very much for being here. Check out Dane on Buff Pro on YouTube and Twitch. And then check out the Toasty Games channel. We're going to be doing more gameplay next year. And yes, let's let's tase him. I hope. Let's catch this predator. Hey. <laughs> Come on in. Awesome. All right. All right. Yeah, All right. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got tripped up. You better be careful. Don't trip over the rug. <laughs> they probably had a camera under there. Yeah, Online right, in beer. an AOL gay chat room, calling himself "Hi, buddy, what's up?" Hi, buddy, what's up? What's up? I want to be top. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to do it raw? Raw? <laughs> yes. What's that? No rubber. Jeez. <laughs> All caps too. Look at him. Ugh. This is him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm well. nervous too. Right. <laughs> My excuse to come here, I went to Atlantic City. I just, I don't know. What, what put that in the refrigerator. I don't know. What's... Put that in the refrigerator. I'm tired of telling you. Just put it in the fridge. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just nervous. You have to, you know. That's all right. If I would, you could put that in the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't get drunk. Jeez. You? <laughs> you can put it in the fridge. Please put it in the fridge. Don't get drunk on that, all right? You know, don't tell nobody I got that for you. Under a, even the decoy's yeah. underage for that alcohol. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. Mm. So why'd you need the cover story to go to uh, Atlantic City? No, um, my brother is home, my other brother. Right. And I said, I got to go to Atlantic City. And, but instead, you came here. I stopped by to go there. <laughs> oh. Okay. He's not even confused about, like, who are you? He's just like, yeah, I, that, that, that story that I told him is true, actually. I just stopped by to hand off this beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is also illegal. Uh, oh, boy. And it was dark, and I'm not usually a drive at dark at so, nighttime. So the nighttime makes you nervous? Yeah, driving. And, I'm not a drive at and, night. And what about I'm... visiting a boy who's home alone? Does that make you nervous? Well, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that does make me nervous, actually. I do feel... I do feel a little nervous right now. Uh, I just can't put my <laughs> finger on it. Uh, hmm, yeah, mm, 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 mm. Yo, yo, did he put that in the fridge? Did, yeah, did, he, did he put that in the fridge yet? I'm freaking <laughs> out about that. <laughs> Will you check with him see if he put that in the fridge? <laughs> Please, <laughs> confirm. Just say hi. It just was not that And drop off a package. Yeah, I had beer. Have you been drinking tonight? No, not at all. You can smell my breath. Not at all. It's okay. I don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I can do that from here. Yeah. <laughs> Pew. How old are you? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. You said you were thirty-five online. Thirty-five. Thirty-nine. Yeah. We find out. <laughs> 30, 30, 30, 30, Thirty-nine. Yeah, somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's 40 something though. Yeah, yeah. 46. Yeah, he's 46. He he's unemployed and spends his time caring for his ailing mother. Then he tries to explain away his graphic sexual chat. Oh man, he's, just, he's at home taking care of his mom and that's who he told he's going to Atlantic City. Mom, I'm going to Atlantic City because, Yikes. you know. Because I'm not going to a 14 year old. Yeah, you know, mom, Yikes. And poor mom's over there like, Atlantis, I love Aquaman. And he's like, yeah, mom, we'll see you later. <laughs> right. You asked him in your chat if he was top or bottom. What does that mean? Did I ask? I don't remember that. Are you top or bottom? I'm horny, you said. <laughs> I what is that? I don't know. That's a good question. Hmm. So what made you decide to come over here and meet a teenage boy after uh, this sexually explicit conversation? I thought it was like I wanted to hang out with someone like a friend. Ah, the old friend excuse. Yikes. I don't have any friends, so... And then Chris would be like, well, you can't meet anybody your own age, you know? <laughs> right. Every time I see these guys with mustaches, I'm just like, God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta shave yours off again. Uh, you know, you know, I don't want to associate my mustache with these people. My mustache is a good stash. <laughs> Like, I thought he was like 18, something like that. It wasn't, I'm, I'm not gay or anything. Oh, wait, what? Bruh, ain't nobody calling you gay. You don't got to get defensive about that. It's fine. Yeah, wait, it's, what's it's, the deal, bro? It's cool, dude. It's cool. 
I mean, it's not cool, but I mean, the part about you, whether or not you're gay or not, that, you know, that's fine. You know, don't, don't feel pressured about that. Just feel pressured about what you're doing here. Exactly. I'm just saying. Well, this isn't about gay. No, I'm straight. just saying. And, and I'm straight. I'm nobody just cares saying. what adults do. No, I'm just know? saying. But just, I just want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> just for the record, you know what I mean? Like, but why do that? What's the motive here? It's, Explain it to me. I don't no, understand. you're right. No, I, you're right. It's stupid. It's not. It's an no. illegal thing. Yeah, I know. I did a stupid thing. Oh, now he's like, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> right. Hmm. Well, I'm Chris Hansen, really, and I work for Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults oh. who try to meet kids online. Oh no, oh, I, I like wouldn't want to be. Um... <laughs> oh boy. <Hey. laughs> Oh, uh, I definitely oh. wouldn't want to be on that. Oh boy! Uh, well, halfway through the clip, they already brought the old cameras out. What happens next? Uh, he's getting tased. Dipping. Bye. He quickly leaves the house <laughs> and is startled by the police. <laughs> Did he run? They just tried. Oh, right, right. uh, they didn't close on him. <laughs> oh wow! This is one of my favorite ones. Are they? <laughs> Come out and just straight clothesline the dude. <laughs> like spear a guy. The one dude comes out in a ghillie suit and tackles him, you know? <laughs> so addresses the mailbox here, you know what I'm saying? Just like ready to intercept him. Yeah. <laughs> he was arrested during the sting. He was charged with criminal attempt and attempt to lure and entice a minor. Nothing about the alcohol, so that's, you know, get off on that one. He was released yeah, he after did. posting a $50,000 bail bond pending trial. 2008, he pleaded guilty to one charge of criminal attempt third degree. 2000, he was sentenced to parole for the life of a sex offender registration. In 2019, Palumbo was invoked in a hit, involved in a hit and run. Because of this, he served 45 days in Rikers Island Jail. Oh, okay. So he went to jail. He ple pled guilty. I don't say how much he served or if he did. And then he got into a hit right. and run. So, okay. Nothing, nothing super crazy like the other guys. Yeah, he's not the super criminal, but still. Yeah, right. So, we got more of the interview to why. I don't know why it's edited like this, but yeah. Into Atlantic City, and that might be Oh, fun. never mind. It's, That's how he's it's just the whole... It's just... It's freaking music in the background. Right, come on. Come on, Saul. Stop right. it. Stop it. How he can't react to all... I mean, actually, the, the song doesn't show that it's claimed here, but still. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm not gay. You can smell my breath. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> So, yeah, this guy in the TCAP community, this guy is... <laughs> they keep throwing it. I'm not getting anything, just saying. I wonder if that's where that, <laughs> that came from, because that used to, like, people would say that as jokes all the time. Wow. <laughs> Alias, hey, how, buddy? What's up, relatives? Other brother. Uh, alien mother. <laughs> father. <laughs> Yo, wow. <laughs> Taking Damn care love. of alien mother. Called be an enthusiast <laughs> and anti-rubber activist. Jesus. Uh, so they talk about how his, uh, in here, that his dad, they said, I mean, lost a bunch of money on stocks or something like that. Two years before his appearance on Dateline, Palumbo's father had a violent outburst against his family over stocks totaling approximately one million. It would involve him brandishing a pitchfork at his wife and breaking her nose when he swung a dinner tree at her. He also dumped boiling soup on Anthony's head, causing the both of them to be taken to the hospital. Jeez. Two, that was only two years yeah, before was... appearing on Dateline, so it was when he was 44 or something like that. Oh, man, it's wild. I yeah. guess they're trying to, yeah, that's my money. You can't have it. Get my pitchfork. Yeah, take this chicken noodle on your dome. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that's it. That's all I really have to say about him. Got him. That was a pretty short one. Short, mm. and, short and sweet. They showed up and got busted. Put that beer in the fridge. <laughs> he was worried about that, man. Put that beer in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Let us know in the comments what you thought about it. Today's your birthday, birthday. Say toast, my friends, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Go put that in the fridge.